attempt this diagnostic at your own risk. We are playing with high voltage. Uh, I'm doing my video on uh, Pontiac Firefly. Uh, the car won't start. I'm going to show you step by step, step by step, how to diagnose it to get it to start again. I'm going to start for, by uh, checking the spark. I'm going to use the spark plug pliers to take the spark plug wire off the spark plug. Now I'm going to put the spark plug uh, power tester onto the spark plug and into the wire. And now I'm going to crank the engine to see if it sparks. Crank the engine please. We had no spark here, so now I'm going to check the power going to the distributor from the coil to see if that's where our problem is. Now, you pause it. now I'm going to check to see if we have power coming from the coil to the distributor using the spark tester. Crank the engine, please. So we had no spark from on the distributor, so we have no power coming from the coil. So now I'm going to check to see if the power, if the cord is wrecked by checking the power coming out of the coil. Crank the engine, please. We have no power going to the distributor from the coil. So now I'm going to check and see if the distributor is sending the signal to the coil to send power back to the distributor to send the spark. I'm going to take off this screw here and the screw underneath on the distributor to check and see if the rotor arm is spinning to send the signal to the coil to get power to the sparks plugs Stop it. now I'm going to check to see if the rotor arm is spinning set, thus sending the signal to the coil to send the spark back to the distributor to send the spark to the spark plugs so I took the bolt screws out of the distributor cap. Now we're going to check and see if the rotor arm is spinning. Can you crank the car please? Thank you. So the rotor arm is spinning. So we know that the coil is getting the signal to send back to the distributor to send the spark. We're going to put the bolts on now and then we're going to check the coil to see if it's getting power from the battery. Now we're going to check to see if the ignition is sending power to the coil and to see if the distributor is sending the signal to the coil. First we're going to check the power going to the coil from the ignition. We should have a solid light on the, on the light indicating that will indicate that we have power coming from the ignition. We have the solid light. it's green that means we have power now we're gonna crank the engine and we should have a blinking green light that means we're getting the signal from the distributor to the coil crank the engine please we have blinking light so that means we have power coming the signal coming to the coil which means the coil is not working or there's something or it's dead because we have no power coming from the coil to the distributor. So we replaced the coil and now we're going to start it up and see if the car runs to see if that is what our problem was. Start the engine please. So car runs so we fixed the problem. The coil was dead.